Hi. Good morning. Have a you too. So I think my van is fixed. I just need to um, drive it and make sure <laughs> it hasn't been driven since it's been fixed. road rage. I'm just aware of which cars are not playing. <laughs> Safe. Doing their own thing. Or a little bit distracted, like when they're rolling off the road and stuff. And the worst I pretty much get is probably, what the fuck? You know, what the fuck? There's a car that went in the wrong lane before and it just reminded me, and I thought maybe I'll share car that went in the wrong lane and they were coming at me and like two one of my friends that are road ragers that would have just drove drove them crazy that someone could you know risk their life that way you know and um as she was doing it she just went you know as in she knows she's in the wrong acknowledges that she's wrong and that dissipates um any rightness and wrongness and things like that Acknowledge, you know, like, yeah, they make mistakes and acknowledge, you know, oops, yeah, sorry. I'm also wondering what else I, why I don't get road rage. I think it's because I do expect that people are distracted, um, you know, seeing how kids can be in cars, you know, yelling and screaming and things like that, and the, the parent trying to drive, people arguing, people have got lots of things on their mind or whatever, and yeah, it happens, like, rather than trying to say this this shouldn't happen it happens so once you know that you know people also may have had no sleep or whatever they shouldn't be on the road no but they are so you just adapt and then you've got young hooligans who are you know all ego and um, they they like scaring themselves and their friends and things like that yeah they shouldn't be on the road but they are it's just like noticing and noticing what's going on and adjusting for it, just making adjustments for it. You know, people who last minute turn, last minute turn, that's because probably they didn't know that they had to turn there. They've got their GPS set. Sometimes the GPS doesn't tell you until the last minute turn left and they're like, crap, it's turn left or, you know, miles down the wrong highway. So I think it's like a matter of just looking at everybody as being more understanding of other people instead of Instead of thinking that people are out to kill you, I don't know. I don't understand people's road rage. I think it's just because they've got their own stress. They've got a poor diet, probably, so they don't have any nutrition. So they're in fight or flight mode the whole time. And um, they've, they've grown up with rightness and wrongness of everything. Um, I remember, like, I was a stickler for, I am a stickler for the rules, but for safety reasons, logic reasons, but it makes no sense, I don't, I, I really like, oh my god, what the hell, but when I was driving along, like I just recently got my keys, and I was in a lane, and another car came and put, you know, sort of like this in front of me, because they needed to go into the other lane, and I was like, oh my god, I can't blah, blah, blah. and my friend said, well, you know where they're going, and actually, that was one of the best lessons to have as a new driver. Because I took on that attitude. It's like, well, I know where they want to go. Like, I know, you know, so give them a break. You know, they need to be in this lane and you get all, you know, road rage about it. Or you can just, like, adapt to the situation, understand, see everybody as more innocent or more clueless. And adapt. See them all as grandma, you know, as your own grandma. Be safe regardless of your personal opinion. Live like there's a camera on you. Live like that your actions could be played back for others to see. If we all did that, you'd find people clean up their diets, clean up their attitudes, clean up their road rage, clean up their domestic abuse, clean up their laziness at work. Probably wouldn't spend as much time on Facebook and social media. I work like there's a camera on me. Because there is cameras on me. Uh, at home, I don't live like I'm. there's a camera on me. I do. I, in the words that I speak, I do. Like, 
I do imagine that I'm being recorded. So I don't say anything that I would regret and that's how I try and live. Not that there's a filter on stopping me from talking about whatever, there's not. But I am more aware of trying not to be mean. Yeah, I don't know. Like always trying to look at the bigger perspective, always trying to look at the bigger picture. Anyway, I'm at work. Bye.